welcome to open mentor and uh, tnsdc welcome you all for this upskill program welcome once again to this program this is a great start uh, this stream is focused on software testing my name is nagarajan i think many of you would have attended our orientation programs and you would have seen me before so we would like to start slowly gradually gain speed and then go ahead okay good that we see a lot of people at the same time we also like to thank people who are joining from uh, other states too there are people coming from various colleges from different states of india this is very encouraging okay let me start the program with this i am going to share my screen okay hope you see my screen there is a news this news came uh, on 12th january 2023 just 18 days before maruti suzuki recalls 17362 vehicles due to faulty airbags and the models include alto ketan espresso eco brezza right grand vistara so why is this the car is left the company the car is bought by somebody the car is delivered to somebody but the company recalls recalling meaning they will call every single owner of this vehicles of the 17362 ensure the car reaches the workshop and then they change the airbag or fix the airbag but imagine the cost this is this comes free the company cannot charge so this is a problem the problem of calling the problem of fixing without the additional fee and then the brand is going wrong the bad brand value will go bad so in manufacturing industry if there is a problem you have to take it back fix it give it there is a huge amount of cost involved another thing i will show you this is flipkart servers down way back in 2018 flipkart servers got a lot of traffic and then it went down maybe a sale they would have announced correct lot of people millions of people will come to flipkart server is not able to handle the load it failed how long it took we do not know maybe a few hours or maybe a few minutes whatever but within that the damage is done so there is a brand that is getting into a problem so what i am trying to say is now let me ask you this question you can type it in your uh, uh, chat and then send it to me let me stop sharing the screen i say cricket what comes to your mind i say cricket what comes to your mind you can type it in the q and a and then send it to me dhoni okay dhoni is one answer another answer is also dhoni just type it quickly i say cricket sachin sachin world cup virat kohli bat virat kohli excellent only dhoni okay like only coffee good now let me ipl now i ask you another question i say coffee what comes to your mind i say coffee what comes to your mind sugar milk 
coffee mug taste okay starbucks good morning very good excellent now i say bus the bus that you are traveling every day to come you to the office or to the college bus what comes to your mind passenger ticket traffic crowd ticket ha huh, right just look at the difference just look at the difference we said ticket i'm just going to share my screen once again when i say cricket you said sachin dhoni ticket didn't come to your mind you said ipl but you would have spent money on that ticket didn't come to your mind i said coffee then sugar milk etc came to your mind i said bus then you say crowd then you say ticket why because for cricket you are just a viewer you may be a customer also for coffee also you would you only bought the coffee but in the bus you have faced problems because of crowd every day you are paying the ticket cricket once again maybe once once in 3 months something like that you would have seen every day you also spend money on coffee but why in the bus you are facing a problem so pro problem comes to your mind when as in cricket you didn't face the problem if you are actually a cricket player you would have said practice practice in the morning jogging for half an hour all those things would have come to you if you are a formal cricket player if you are a coffee maker you would have said customers customers coming without change if you are the owner of the coffee shop whereas in the bus you are the customer first lesson be a customer to be a tester anybody whether to be in a development or in testing you must develop the customer attitude the customer attitude is extremely important only when you are a customer you will start understanding the problems because why why are, why you are in the position to understand the problems and immediately tell about the problems because you pay the money goes out of the, your packet you suffer because of somebody is delaying you you said traffic even for watching cricket match you assume only you are watching on tv how many people have gone to the stadium and then watched correct so because you pay you expect return of every single paisa you give because you you pay you understand the problems that you suffer you will highlight it you will try to get it corrected whereas if you don't pay you don't bother about the problems if you are not the direct beneficiary you don't bother chalega so that attitude actually kills quality chalega okay okay kind of an attitude kills quality you go to a coffee shop imagine the coffee is uh, not hot okay or the coffee is really be tasting bad then you will raise the problem because you paid money so the very first lesson when you are entering software industry you must develop the customer attitude you should be like a customer you think from the angle of the customer is this clear if so please raise your hands is this clear is this clear please raise your hands cool 
is fine and now i also want to have one more thing okay uh, another point i would like to say what is a, what are we going to test already many people have raised some questions saying that i am an engineering guy or i am a mechanical engineering guy what is testing what is all this about this field is called information technology information is data the technology part comes through programs and the hardware so you must test correctness of programs as well as correctness of data suppose you pay some money and the money is not getting credited to somebody else you you paid 100 rupees money credited are only 90 rupees what is the problem the data somewhere the 100 is distorted to 90 same way there is some logic people code in the programming languages maybe c c++ java what not anything anything for that sake whatever they code let me ask you this question if i ask you to write one page in english or in your mother tongue let us take your mother tongue is tamil or telugu or hindi or marathi or bengali i ask you to write something about india in your mother tongue in one page one full page full scrap paper okay one page about india in mother tongue Do you think there will not be any single mistake that you will make in that one page while writing? If you feel that you will make a mistake, please raise your hands or give a claps. If you feel that you will make at least a mistake, spelling mistake or something, either raise your hands or just to give a clap. Right? You know that you will make a mistake. Definitely, yeah. you will make either a spelling mistake or a grammatical mistake, something of that nature. Now I ask you the question, you learnt your mother tongue for so long and you learnt Java only for two years. When you can make mistakes in your own mother tongue or in English that you learnt for 15 years or even 17 years, what is the guarantee that you will not make mistakes in Java? both program level, syntax errors as well as logical errors. So, error is inevitable. Everybody makes errors. Programmers or developers are not something like superhumans. They make errors. They themselves will not be able to rectify all the problems. I think in the orientation also I mentioned, you write exam, you think you will get 80 marks, you will get only 70 marks. Why? Because everybody inherently makes mistakes. A mistake made in the program is error. That error can be anything. That error can be anything. It may wrongly calculate the interest our last letter of your name is uh, lost while storing in the database or the description you entered is jumbled and then stored in a wrong format error can come in any way or the document you uploaded into your website or into your web application is wrongly uploaded and it gets corrupted error can be anything but this is where in your bank if you go you apply for a draft bank dd what happens someone makes dd someone else approves dd manager or assistant manager should counter sign that because the clerk would have made a mistake someone has to verify 
you asked for 1000 rupees dd or say 10000 rupees dd and then what is the commission whether you put the name correct everything is correctly done as per the form maker is one person checker is another son, another person in the trains also why should the ttr come and verify we trust everybody but there can be mistakes instead of s2 you would have gone into s4 or you, instead of yesterday's train you came only for today you may also make a mistake so mistakes okay mistakes or problems or issues or errors they are all something i want but what i wanted is not what i am seeing you go to a hotel ask for dosa and they bring pongal you ask for chapati they bring puri so something goes wrong it may be a human mistakes it may be a machine mistake it may be a process mistake it may be a drug mistake can be anything but mistakes do happen every day everybody makes mistakes this is why programmer develops something i need somebody to check whether it is working correctly if you don't check customer will find the mistake customer will shout at you and customer will not pay money uh, how many of you actually um, done um, stitching of your shirt or pant with the tailors nowadays it's mostly ready made but how many people actually do stitching by giving measurements to the uh, uh, tailor you can raise your hands if you give for stitching yeah good at least a few hands definitely raise imagine you asked for 40 inch or say 38 inch and that guy person made it 2 inches less or 2 inches more it's a mistake so always there will be problems that is where we want someone to check whether there is a mistake or not <clears throat> is this clear i am going to stop the screen sharing coming back to my video <clears throat> again i am going to ask you a few questions you appoint a cook somebody asked the question whether this is a first class yes this is the first class now i ask you a question you appoint a cook cook on the day one you are giving 8000 rupees salary per month cook made first day high salt fully salty what will you do you answer you type the question the time you type the answer here in the q and a i could see it okay day one cook made mistake day two salt is okay but it is too spicy day three okay somebody said i'll start scolding the person okay day three salt and spice okay lot of oil day four salt spice oil everything is okay but it is not fully uh, baked or it is not fully cooked what will you do with the cook four days four different mistakes what will you do with the cook what he said we may want four days four different problems what will you do change the cook okay <laughs> that was one answer by one person oh, fine now you change the cook good now you appoint a driver okay you appoint a driver car driver assume that you have a car 15000 rupees salary day one he goes very slow like 15 kilometers per hour per hour where he can go for 30 kilometers per hour very very slow what will you do you will want okay good second day he goes very fast third day instead of going left suddenly he took the right you are telling him or her hey turn left is what google shows 
for some reason he went to right fourth day he was almost hitting a person not hitting just go very near a person and then not hit luckily four days four different mistakes what will you do right change the driver correct now now let me ask you a question listen very carefully you whoever answered change the cook or fire him or fire her you are the software programmer and everybody else in this room are your boss each one is your boss assume first day you are making a problem in the loop second day you are making a problem in the if condition third day you are making a problem in parameters fourth day you are making a problem in sql query four days four different problems you made the mistake in software others now tell me certain people said fire change now what will you do with this guy four days four different problems in your programs what will you do with this programmer you tell me i am waiting for your answers type it and then send it to me ah try to fix the errors i try to learn hey what is this for a driver the rule is different find the solution to solve problems all nice words boss okay i can understand when it is a driver you are paying money fire chuck him out when it is a cook four days chuck that person out now i am putting you in that position you are making the mistakes no 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 i will try to learn i will find the solutions you are not doing any justice fire i will chuck you out but is that happening in software industry no in software industry just like that firing because of a bug doesn't happen okay let me come back to my screen once again okay in software industry okay in software firing due to bug does not happen why because first of all in cooking or in driving there is a physical problem you, you can immediately feel whereas in software once you compile and then save it unless you test it you go through that error you will not be able to find out the error is there or not unless you are making a software for the flight simulation and then that has or a flight control and it has a problem and it is affecting the passengers you will not feel the heat because in all other industries once act accident is made damage is irreparable once the cook has made the food bad it is a waste in other industries waste is physical you could see the food waste you could see the manufacturing crushed the glass or crushed iron you could see in an accident that a person is losing maybe a hand or leg or whatever there is a physical injury there is a physical part you can see whereas in software it doesn't affect you directly that is why and imagine this this example of maruti recalling 17 vehicles 17000 vehicles there is a cost there is a it is called the logistics cost logistics cost meaning moving the parts the car has to come to your place or you have to send the air back to that place you have to send the mechanic you have to fix the problem all you pay from your pocket company pays from the pocket not the customer so there is a huge cost there is in software there is no logistics attach it in email send it put it in g drive send it in software 
no logistics cost there is no truck needed oh i have to send my program from ambattur to madurai no you don't need i have to send my program from chennai to darwad no there is no truck needed for software no logistics cost okay no physical parts correction is easy because you change the loop recompile give it whereas in maruti car changing the airbag means there is a old faulty airbag what are you going to do with the old fat uh, faulty airbag there is a scrap scrap recycling is also a cost that is why in software just because of somebody making bugs we don't fire whereas in all the industries if mistakes repeat people are getting fired because it affects physically there is a physical wastage do you get the difference between software industry and the other industry is this clear if so if it is clear can you please raise your hands good that is good so often i need to ask this question because i am not physically in front of you so i will ask these questions are you able to understand clearly or not good now the next thing i want to say is let me go back to my screen why should we test this is the answer in software where is the bug there is the bug or a problem bug means a problem bug or problem it is not easy you have to run the program unless you run the program you will not be able to find the exact problem again software is like a branch it will go through if branch it will go through else branch it will go through loop n times unless you test it with that particular combination you will not be able to get that problem how many times you faced one problem is coming to you but that same problem does not come to your friend you might have faced this so the bug or problem where is it finding that in software is not easy this is where this is why you must test it what is tested what is tested you have to test program and the data both you have to test as long as the machine is on program is on the motion moment i shut down my machine then uh, program goes off but the data is stored in the files or in database so you should test both program and data who tests first programmer develops a program programmer tests first you write your exam you yourself review your paper you test your program first as a programmer second thing tester will test it some other person your teacher your master your uh, course director checks your paper then he or she evaluates the paper gives the marks so that is like a tester programmer is a student tester is like a professor giving the marks evaluating the paper then finally customer after you do customer is the one who is going to use the program customer will also test that is why if you see why should we have more examinations quarterly half yearly monthly uh, annual or semester 1 mid semester semester 1 mid semester 2 semester 2 before that final exam public exam you have got model exam 1 2 3 why why more tests better quality there is no second thought about it if you face more testing if you face more interviews definitely after some point of time you will click but without even practicing cricket match you directly go to some match you cannot do anything so every test is a practice you need to think that way so every test you do for the software it is for the betterment of the software now 
I would like to receive some. I just stop my screen and then I'll come back to my this thing. Any questions so far? So far, any questions? The way we want to have these sessions is first 11 to 11:45. We will have core concept delivery. After that, there will be some team standby. You can ask questions in the question and answers. People will answer it. Okay. Again. We will not have a continuous session for the next 45. After 11.45, there will not be a continuous session. Our testers will come and then just give that information to you. Today, I'm not going to have that session. Today, after 11.45, we will not. But reserve the questions. I Maybe for 15 minutes, I will just stay. But what we want to do is we want you to ask questions. Questions meaning questions relevant only to this portion whatever we taught today don't go to that campus interview somebody asks the question what is the answer don't ask that we are not here to answer that kind of a question now we will answer those questions when we go into the interviews and mock interview sessions this is a topic in terms of failures have been taught today is do you have any questions then that is the question then have that questions. We will answer those questions in the second session. Reserve those questions. Okay. Any questions now? Before I move to the next topic, I'm just looking at the Q and A. You can type in. I I cannot open the mic because a lot of people are attending. Before that, I want to publish a poll. You could see in your system. I sent a poll right now. Okay. Um, you would have seen this. I attend this session as individual from my PC or as a group from my college. So how many people attend as an individual from your own PC or as a group from the college? I just put a poll. Please click appropriate answers. Okay. I'll just wait for another 30 seconds. The poll is going on. I could see only 65 people answered the question. All of you, please answer to the extent possible. Are you an, are you attending individually from your PC or you are attending as a group from the college? Good. I could see at least 17 colleges attending as a group, which is good. 18 colleges, 60 individuals. So out of 156 email IDs, because in Zoom, as a college, 26 people say that they are attending as a college. That is good because in a college, in a, in a conference room, maybe 20 people or 50 people or even 100 people would be listening to our lecture. Thanks to all of you. It's a good sign. Okay. Good. I will just publish the result. Okay. The second question I would like to uh, pop up before anything I just is. I know at least one database, OK? If you know, yes, that is correct, you can answer that. Or if you do not know any database, you can say no. Or I know only very basics. Either way, see, it's no harm, because the reason is we also need the input from you. <clears throat> we need to ensure that we give the right dosage of teaching to you so that people who already know they need some speed, people who do not know they need some other speed, People who know only basics, they need some other speed. So we need to do justice for <coughs> all the people. This is good. Excellent. Excellent. OK, now this is good. I got a, a good answer. OK, only 10% uh, say I know programming language. Almost half the crowd said I do not know a database. OK, 40% um, said I know only very basics of DB. Fine. So that means 90% uh, are only OK with the database. It is our responsibility to bring you to speed in databases. OK, good. Thanks. I just stopped the poll. Now, let us go to the next topic. OK. <clears throat> uh, yeah, see, there is one other question that came. This is only for B students. No, actually, engineering students, arts and science students, they can all attend. Okay. But this is a serious course. This requires morning 
one to one and a half hours, afternoon one to one and a half hours again, evening one to one and a half hours. If you fully utilize this, definitely I'm confident that you will be able to crack a lot of interviews. Because I don't believe in short term courses. You need to practice. And only thing is you need to do gradually in, in a specific methodology, right? Like a physiotherapist is training you, like a sports coach is training you, we'll be coaching you, okay? So you can attend anybody, whether you are a science student or an art student or even a diploma of a holder, software, it doesn't stop. Did Sundar Pichai study beta computer science? Anybody can verify that? So computer science major is not the thing, OK? You can be anybody. Still, you can enter software industry. OK, I would like to ask you a question. You can type answers quickly and then send it to us in the Q&A. So because this is one good thing in online, uh, in, in if I am in front of you, uh, I, I see 30 colleges. 13 to 50 people, I put 1,500 people right in the college. So I could see anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 people attending this session alone. I cannot be physically in front of you and then do certain things. But online is one way good. I can get the pulse of everybody through these polls and question and answers. The question to you to answer is, you are seeing many of you would have used uh, uh, ATM. I assume you would have used your ATM for grabbing money, right? Your own money, okay? Using your own card, not grabbing somebody else's money. A brand new ATM machine is given to you. You need to ensure that the ATM works correct. What will you do? What will you test with that ATM? What will you test with that ATM? Start, start typing the answers. A brand new ATM machine is there. Whether the ATM machine works correct or not, you need to test it. You are the quality guy. Uh, somebody said, enter the wrong pin, check the balance. Oh, yeah, keep, keep typing. I would like to see that question and answer session just crawling so fast. <laughs> answer quickly, like a marathon or say, what is that? Lightning speed uh, uh, Q&A. Accept the card, check the password, check the balance, enter bin, timeout problem, put the card and check. Ah, put the card upside down. <laughs> Very good. Is that it? Put some other bank's card. Very good. Withdraw. When you say withdraw, what will you withdraw? One rupee, one and a half rupee, what? Withdraw what? How much? See whether it is sending OTP, checking the balance, printing. Very good. Yes. Come on, come on, go fast. Is that it? For the whole ATM machine, is that it? Is that only you test? Maybe 20 tests came out. <clears throat> what about the other tests? And see whether it is able to read the card. Pin generation, correct, yes. I want to regenerate the pin, good. Scrap the card, good. Cash door opening correctly, yes. Passbook entry, very good. Check the balance. Language selection functionality, excellent. Good, reset the pin, excellent. Now let me ask you. We spent just two minutes, not even two minutes. We were at 42 something. Now we are just 43, 59 in this, in this uh, clock. Within these two minutes, first minute, you are able to give a lot of test. Second minute, the question and answer session, this, this uh, chat, it came slow. Now suddenly it starts coming back, system speed. Balance, incorrect balance. Now only, now there's almost nobody is entering the data. 
the data is not at all coming transfer the money to somebody yes now what you are typing it comes slow that means first minute your brain worked fast did you notice it second minute it slowed down now we are on the third minute third minute almost it the test that you have to because the thinking speed comes down now let me ask you this question once again 10th standard public exam you would have studied it one kind of a vigor or energy or into 12th standard public exam you studied better than 10th standard or not better than 10th standard if you say you studied better than raise your hand 12th standard public exam you studied with more energy and speed and vigor than 10th standard if so please raise your hands hmm? hands are raising only very very slowly that's not a good sign okay good now let me ask you this question after coming to the college 10th standard you studied with this much energy then 12th standard this much energy first semester exam what is the energy you had compared to 12th standard was it more was it less if it is less please raise your hands very less <laughs> people said very less right lot of hands raised third semester exam compared to first semester exam somebody at one person said much more more energy other people all said less you would have studied more topics but energy i am seeing the speed energy interest how many people agree that it is it has come down after 12th standard or after first exam first semester exam to fifth semester exam it has come down if you really agree honestly agree raise your hands once again yeah now i i like your honesty yes good lot of hands raised good now if i am the employer if i am recruiting you i will ask you the question hey 12th standard you have lot of energy first semester you had some energy eighth semester you lost all the energy when you come to work to me what energy you will have if you are the employer won't you ask that question very pin pointed question hurting question you will feel really sad you will feel really you will start thinking oh what is this you have to awake okay good this is the point i would like to say the energy is much more important than the arrears or the low marks or any complex the moment you have the energy up sky is the limit i always tell one fact about india by closing the session i am going to show my screen now this is this is the news pumpuhar city okay traced under the sea people say archaeological study say they did 20 to 30 kilometers from the shore or 30 to 40 kilometers from the current shore we all know pumpuhar city is taken away by tsunami thousands of years ago but what archaeological people and satellite surveys show is at the depth of 50 to 100 meters 30 to 40 kilometers from the current coast of pumbuhar in mailaduthurai district in tamil nadu there is a 2 250 square kilometer city spread as a harbor with the dockyards with settlements with ship with the lighthouse right they found that and they are saying by all those things it is not just 2500 years 
it is 15000 years old so the civilization that we have got in india and they also found a very similar thing in uh, dwarka gujarat coast right we all know they are all submerged due to some great tsunami or ice age or whatever this research has now has been published and then this has been accepted i think by most of the people so 15000 years old civilization from india so we should all be proud of this okay with that good thing so our india is always great our bharat is great every one of our languages is great with that i will stop my session for this one what i will try to do is i gave you the example of atm machine before i stop this session i would like to give one exercise do that exercise by 12 o'clock again we will convene back 15 minutes you do the exercise 12 o'clock we will come back and then we will discuss that and then after that we will disperse so this is how every session will be there there will be some questions there will be some small exercises okay there will be some question and answer sessions after a small break because you need to do that exercise now this exercise that i would like to give it to you is i gave atm machine okay now i give you tv remote control okay in a tv remote control what will you test what you do is i am going to stop my video and audio and screen what you can do is you can type next to 15 minutes now it is 11:47 okay you may take a 2 3 minutes break 11:50 to 12 o'clock you just write whatever that comes to you in your mind what will you test in a tv remote control okay type it 12 o'clock again we will come and discuss after that we will close the session okay i am stopping my screen share now i am stopping my video now and stopping the recording also now